Welcome to Mint. I am Walshi Srivastava. In this edition of From the Newsroom, we have here with us Utpal Bhaskar. Welcome to the show, Utpal. We are here to talk about a recent report of Central Electricity Authority, which blamed Northern State for the uh, grid failure. Utpal, can you tell us uh, what did the CEA report say? In fact, this report has been uh, eagerly awaited uh, post the grid failures, uh, which which was on two consecutive days. Uh, interestingly, uh, uh, what the well, well, earlier it was assumed that it was only the overdrawing by the northern states, primarily Uttar Pradesh, which led to this disaster. Uh, the report has said that uh, it was not only the overdrawing by the northern states, such as uh, Uttar Pradesh and Punjab, but it was also uh, uh, underdrawing by the western region states. So basically, it was uh, a mix of a lot of things. Primarily, it was overdrawing by UP. Uh, which kind of and and underdrawing by the western region states, which led to a surge of electricity on a particular line, which was the Agra Gwalior Bina line. Mm -hmm. And with, while there were two uh, packages which were which operate on this line, one was down for uh, planned maintenance. Uh, the surge of electricity made that very crucial link to fail, and that led to the uh, grid failure on the first day. Mm -hmm. On the second day, uh, while all these conditions were there. Uh, which led to other lines tripping. There were also the lines in Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh uh, tripped, which led to this widespread grid failure, which affected northern region, uh, eastern region, and the northeastern region. Mm -hmm. uh, this is primarily the finding of this report that will be a part of uh, the calling attention motion that has been called in the Lok Sabha, where uh, Power Minister Mr. Virappa Moli will be presenting it. Okay. What were the re recommendations by, uh, given the report? Uh, the report has uh, uh, recommended things such as there should be a dynamic uh, uh, dynamic demand estimation, which primarily means that uh, uh, the voltage, uh, whenever there's a dip uh, or a surge in the voltage, it gets taken care of. It has also talked about uh, a new system of planning, building and augmenting transmission links. While most of the things have been talked about for some time, uh, it is for the planners and uh, Power Grid Corporation of India Limited, which is a state agency responsible for the load management function through its subsidiary POSOCO to take care of. Okay. Uh, going forward, can such a disaster strike the power grids again? Uh, it, it, interestingly, uh, today as we are talking, uh, there was a brief scare in the morning uh, when a couple of lines, uh, there, was a, there was extra demand for around 3000 megawatt in the northern grid. It was a brief scare, however, POSOCO says that it was not much, not, not much to worry about. Uh, a situation like this can happen till the time states uh, which are uh, which keep on uh, drawing electricity from the grid more than the allocated quota do not discipline themselves also until and unless the grid code which is already there in place for a long time is strictly enforced india is and will always be uh, at the receiving end if the states do not uh, follow the grid discipline to the core thank you for joining us utpal on that note we end today's show Thank you for watching. Stay tuned.